Sicilian defense, open, Prince, Venice attack, 6, NBD 77.NF5 D5. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. F3 defends the e4 pawn and stops the black pieces from coming to g4. e5 takes space in the center, attacks the knight on d4 and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Bb5 develops the bishop, puts the black king in check and prepares to castle. Nbd7 blocks the check and develops the knight toward the center. Nf5 moves the knight to a safe square and attacks the pawns on d6 and g7. d5 gains space in the center, attacks the e4 pawn and unblocks the dark squared bishop. This captures a vulnerable pawn. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only good move. It is the last book move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This misses a chance to expose an assault on a pawn. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses a chance to trample a bishop. It is incorrect. Black still holds the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. This disregards a superior method of strengthening a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to connect rooks. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. It is incorrect. This misses a great but hard to find move. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a miss. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to win a pawn. It is excellent. This enables the adversary to capture an outpost using a bishop. It is incorrect. This blows the chance to capture an outpost with a bishop. It is incorrect. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. 
Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to capture a rook and gain territory. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable rook. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a miss. That leaves a rook vulnerable to being captured. This threatens to win a queen. It is a blunder. Capturing that rook wins material. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. 